In this video, we will be preparing the coordination compound potassium tris oxalatochromate 3. Potassium tris oxalatochromate 3 is a coordination compound with the tris oxalatochromate anion, which is this very big complex anion with the chromium in plus 3 oxidation state surrounded by the 3 bidentate ligand oxalate, and it is counterbalanced by 3 potassium cations. Chemicals that you will need for this preparation are 1 gram of potassium oxalate. 2.5 grams of oxalic acid and 0.83 grams of potassium dichromate. Take a 100 milliliter beaker and transfer both the 1 gram potassium oxalate and 2.5 grams of oxalic acid to it. Oxalic acid got stuck onto the walls of the beaker, so a spatula was used to transfer it completely. 30 ml of distilled water was then taken in a graduated cylinder and was transferred to the beaker. A glass steering rod was then used to mix up the contents. Both the compounds dissolve in water and it results in the formation of a colorless clear solution. Next, 0.85 grams of potassium dichromate was added in small lots with the help of a spatula. You can see how the orange color of the potassium dichromate immediately turns dark upon addition. Keep adding the dichromate in small amounts and with each addition effervescence is seen. What's initially happening is a redox reaction. The hexavalent chromium in the dichromate is reduced to chromium triplex in the complex. Oxalate ion is oxidized to carbon dioxide and carbon dioxide is producing the effervescence. That is why it says not to add all the dichromate together. The three bidentate oxalate ligands join together with the chromium 3 plus forming the tris oxalatochromate complex anion and three potassium cations to counterbalance it. Once all the dichromate addition is complete, the solution was boiled down to about one third of its original volume and then it was allowed to cool down to room temperature. Upon cooling, the crystals of potassium tris oxalatochromate 3 separate out as a deep green to almost black colored shining crystals. The crystals were then filtered using vacuum filtration and was washed couple of times with ethyl alcohol about 96% ethyl alcohol and was allowed to dry and this is the final product that we obtained after drying. So that's about it in this video. Hope you have enjoyed my video. These are my Patreon supporters who are financially helping me so that I am able to purchase new chemicals and equipments required for doing new videos. You can also support me via Patreon or PayPal. The links of both of them are given in the description. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, do subscribe to the channel and click on the bell button for notifications regarding my new videos. Thank you.